Come, kings, and listen to my song, when Gwyn the son of Nor, over the nations of the north, his cruel scepter bore. The nobles of the land did feed upon the hungry poor. They tear the poor man's lamb, and drive the needy from their door. The land is desolate, our wives and children cry for bread. Arise and pull the tyrant down, let Gwyn be humbled. Gordred, the giant, roused himself from sleeping in his cave. He shook the hills, and in the clouds the troubled banners wave. Beneath them rolled, like tempests black, the numerous sons of blood, like lions' whelps roaring abroad, seeking their nightly food. Down Blaren's hills they dreadful rush, their cry ascends the clouds, the trampling horse and clanging arms like rushing mighty floods. Their wives and children, weeping loud, follow in wild array, howling like ghosts, furious as wolves in the bleak wintry day. Pull down the tyrant to the dust, let Gwyn be humbled, they cry, and let ten thousand lives pay for the tyrant's head. From tower to tower the watchmen cry, O Gwyn, the son of Nor, arouse thyself, the nations, black like clouds, come rolling o'er. Gwyn reared his shield, his palace shakes, his chiefs come rushing round, each like an awful thunder cloud, with voice of solemn sound. Like reared stones around a grave, they stand around the king. Then suddenly each seized his spear, and clashing steel does ring. The husbandman does leave his plough, to wade through fields of gore. The merchant binds his brows in steel, and leaves the trading shore. The shepherd leaves his mellow pipe, and sounds the trumpet shrill. The workman throws his hammer down, to heave the bloody bill. Like the tall ghost of Bariton, who sports in stormy sky, Gwyn leads his host, as black as night, when pestilence does fly. With horses and chariots, and all his spearmen bold, March to the sound of mournful song, like clouds around him rolled. Gwyn lifts his hand, the nations halt, prepare for war, he cries. Gordred appears, his frowning brow troubles our northern skies. The army stand, like balances held in the Almighty's hand. Gwyn, thou hast filled thy measure up, thou art swept from out the land. And now the raging armies rushed like warring mighty seas. The heavens are shook with roaring war, the dust ascends the skies. Earth smokes with blood, and groans and shakes to drink her children's gore. A sea of blood, nor can the eye see to the trembling shore. And on the verge of this wild sea famine and death doth cry. The cries of women and of babes over the field doth fly. The king is seen raging afar, with all his men of might, Like blazing comets scattering death through the red feverous night. Beneath his arm like sheep they die, and groan upon the plain. The battle faints, and bloody men fight upon hills of slain. Now death is sick, and riven men labor and toil for life. Steed rolls on steed, and shield on shield, sunk in this sea of strife. The god of war is drunk with blood, the earth doth faint and fail. The stench of blood makes sick the heavens, ghosts glut the throat of hell. Oh, what have kings to answer for before that awful throne, when thousand deaths for vengeance cry, and ghosts accusing groan? Like blazing comets in the sky that shake the stars of light, which drop like fruit unto the earth through the fierce burning night. Like these did Gwyn and Gordred meet, and the first blow decides. Down from the brow unto the breast, Gordred his head divides. Gwyn fell, the sons of Norway fled. All that remained alive, the rest did fill the veil of death. For them the eagles strive. The river Dorman rolled their blood into the northern sea who mourned his sons and overwhelmed the pleasant south country.